Hi everyone, Hans Carlsen here again from M-Driven. So I'm gonna um, real quick set up a, an example here to show you a new thing in the debugger ability to step your OCL expressions. So I have a simple model here with a customer and consumables in boxes and shipping containers. And I set up some test data with the auto forms. Of course, this um, is very tedious and takes some time. So it would be better if I could sort of do a debugger script to create some test data for me. So I'm going to do that um, right about now. Just doing the customers and some consumable types so I can use that in my um, in my debugger script so I am I am in the debugger and uh, uh, customer all instances I have created two customers with the forms, but uh, I want to collect over those, putting them in a loop variable called cust. And uh, for each customer, I want to loop from 0 to 10 and uh, um, create a consumable. So I'm going to put that in a let very construct with a variable called cons. So for each uh, consumable in cons, I assign the owner to the customer from the first collect. And I assign the consumable type from the customer's list of consumable types. But that's a list, I need only one. So I'm going to use the at zero operator to find which one. And I'm going to do integer random to pick one of the available like that so now I have a script and I can test that and see that it seems to work but um, quite often there might be some issues with it and it might not do exactly what I want so we introduced this stepper functionality so now you can debug your script and go through it piece by piece each step will uh, move the script along so now we're in the collect and now we are in the inner collect and with let operator not evaluated and we see the um, the iterator number one of 11 so as I step along I assign the owner uh, with the assigner operator and I will assign the consumable type but I need to calculate the random and the at zero operator and the assignment and now I'm back so uh, the loop variable switches to two and three and four and five um, as it runs the out the outermost loop is still at one I only had two customers so goes from one to two and uh, I can see that now the inner loop is done and the outer loop steps one and then the inner loop resets to one to eleven and it runs through that and now the script is done so and that's a great way to find out what the script does in detail and also learn OCL and how it uh, behaves. So take a look at that and uh, feedback what you think about that. Thank you.